actually, I think you could. I think you would be able to use any technology better after you read this book. The systems that we build these days are too big to hold in their entirety in our heads. Just working iteratively, it's one of those things where if you don't do it, it's hard to understand. And if you do it, it's hard to understand not doing it anymore. Yes, using tests to get feedback so that we can try stuff and we can change stuff quickly and efficiently. And you can't discard the idea of iteration. And I don't think that you can achieve anything complex in its absence. And you know, we're assuming there's no more learning to be had. Starting out by assuming that you don't know the answer to something. So, uh, and being suspicious of, of your own ideas and testing them and validating them and, and learning from them. But the size of the feedback loop that you can create is really key. I don't think that's just a problem of the cloud age. Inside every technical story, there's a business story trying to get out. I couldn't write code that was bad enough to make the points that I wanted to make doing test driven developments. It was impossible. We assume that engineering just means writing code. Feedback and speed of feedback and efficiency of feedback is the way that space rockets balance on, on the thrust of, of their engines. It, it's like balancing a broom. If you're not using version control, you're going to get, you're going to get 10 times improvement by, by adding version control. We just kind of build this ever expanding collection of ideas and we don't throw away the crap ones. I think agile was, was, was a necessary step, but it's not enough. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.